Excuse me, how do I get to the train station? The train station is about a 10 minute walk from here. Go straight ahead for two blocks, then turn left at the bakery. You can't miss it. Is it far to walk to the main square? No, the main square is quite close. It's just a few blocks down this street. Do you know where the nearest bus stop is? Yes, the bus stop is right around the corner on your left. Could you show me on this map where the museum is? Sure, the museum is marked here with a little blue star. What's the best way to get to the airport from here? You can take a taxi, which is the fastest option. Or, there's a bus that leaves every half hour from the station across the street. Is there a subway station nearby? Unfortunately, there isn't a subway station in this area. Your best bet is a bus or taxi. Excuse me, how do I get to the bus station from here? If you're comfortable walking, it's about a 20 minute walk. Otherwise, you can take a bus or taxi. Do you speak English? Excuse me. How do I get to shopping center? Sure, no problem. I can help you with directions. Is this the right way to the airport? Yes, you're on the right track. Keep going straight. Oh no, I think I'm lost. Can you help me? Don't worry. Happens to the best of us. Do you have a map? Or can you tell me where you were trying to go? Thanks for your help, but I'm still a bit confused. Could you write the directions down for me? Absolutely. Here's a quick note with the directions. Is there a more scenic route to get to the night market? It depends on your preference. There's a faster route, but the one along the river is quite beautiful. How long will it take to get to ABC Hotel by car? It should take about an hour with normal traffic. Are there any traffic jams on the way to the train station? It might be a good idea to check a traffic app before you head out, just in case. Is there a specific lane I need to be in to get on the highway to the city? Yes. You'll want to be in the far right lane to get on the highway towards. Is there a toll road on the way? Do I need cash? No, this highway doesn't have tolls. Excuse me, is this the bus that goes to the beach? Yes, the bus with the blue sign that says beach is the one you need. Do you have any maps or brochures about the area? Yes, I can give you a map of the city that highlights some popular tourist destinations. Is there a mobile app one can use for public transportation in this city? There are a few options. I can recommend a popular one that shows real-time bus and train schedules. Thank you so much for your help. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Have a wonderful day exploring. When asking for directions, should I use formal or informal language? In most cases, informal language is perfectly acceptable, especially if you're approaching someone on the street. A simple excuse me followed by your question is polite. What if I don't understand the directions? Don't hesitate to ask for clarification. You can say things like, sorry, could you repeat that? Or can you explain that one more time? Is it okay to ask multiple people for directions? Absolutely. If you're unsure or confused, getting directions from a few people can help you feel more confident about your route. What if I'm traveling somewhere where English isn't widely spoken? Learn a few basic phrases in the local language, like, excuse me, and thank you. 
Phrasebooks or translation apps can also be helpful. Even with limited language skills, most people will be happy to try and help you. Are there any gestures I can use to help communicate when asking for directions? Sure. Pointing to your destination on a map or gesturing in the direction you want to go can be helpful visual cues. Should I tip someone for giving me directions? Generally, tipping isn't necessary for simply asking for directions. However, if someone goes above and beyond to help you, a small tip might be a nice gesture. What if I get lost and don't have any way to contact anyone? Try to stay calm and find a landmark you recognize. Look for a tourist information booth, cafe, or shop where you can ask for help. How can I avoid getting lost in the first place? Always have a map or use a navigation app on your phone. Pay attention to street signs and landmarks as you walk or travel. Are there any safety precautions I should take when asking for directions? Be aware of your surroundings and trust your gut instinct. If someone seems suspicious, don't be afraid to walk away. Can asking for directions be a good way to connect with locals? Absolutely. It's a chance to practice the local language and learn more about the area from someone who lives there. What if I get directions that seem too complicated? Don't be afraid to ask for simpler instructions. Sometimes a shorter route with fewer turns might be better, even if it takes a little longer. Is it okay to ask for directions to a specific address? Sure. Most people will be familiar with street names and addresses in their own city. What if I'm looking for a specific business or establishment? You can ask, excuse me, do you know where business name is? If it's a popular place, someone is likely to be familiar with it. How can I find out about public transportation options in a new city? Ask your hotel concierge or look for information signs at bus stops or train stations. Many cities also have websites or apps dedicated to public transportation. What if I'm disabled and need accessible transportation options? Inquire about accessible routes and ask if buses or trains have ramps or designated seating. Many cities offer specialized transportation services for people with disabilities. Is it always best to take the most direct route? Not necessarily. Sometimes getting a little lost can lead to unexpected discoveries. Explore side streets and hidden alleys. You might find a hidden gem. How can I thank someone for helping me with directions? A simple thank you so much, or I really appreciate your help, is always appreciated. Should I offer them something in return for their help? A genuine thank you is usually enough. However, if you feel inclined, you could offer them a small tip or buy them a coffee. What if I'm traveling in a rural area where there aren't many people around? Look for landmarks or signs that might point you in the right direction. You can also try using offline maps on your phone or a GPS device. Are there any cultural considerations I should be aware of when asking for directions? In some cultures, it might be considered impolite to point directly at someone. A gesture with an open hand might be more appropriate. What if someone tries to give me directions that seem wrong or confusing? It's always best to err on the side of caution. Thank them for their help and politely try asking someone else. How can I describe my destination if I don't know the exact name? You can describe the type of place you're looking for, such as a museum, a park, 
or a restaurant with a specific cuisine. What if I'm traveling with a group and everyone has different ideas about where to go? Decide on a general area to explore first. Once you're there, everyone can explore independently and regroup at a designated meeting point later. Is getting lost always a bad thing? Not at all. Sometimes getting lost can lead to unexpected adventures and discoveries. Embrace the opportunity to explore new areas. How can I use technology to help me navigate while traveling? Download offline maps and translation apps to your phone. Many navigation apps offer public transportation options and real-time traffic updates. Are there any travel apps specifically designed for asking for directions? There are apps that allow you to connect with locals who can offer directions and recommendations in their own language. What if my phone battery is dead and I don't have a map? Ask for directions at a shop, cafe, or hotel. Someone might be able to give you a hand-drawn map or point you in the right direction. Is it okay to ask for directions even if I think I know how to get there? Absolutely. It's always better to be safe than sorry. A quick confirmation can give you peace of mind. How can I ask for directions to a specific building or location within a larger complex? Once you arrive at the complex, Look for signs or ask security guards or information booths for guidance. What if I'm traveling with children? How can I make asking for directions easier for them? Get them involved in the process. Let them hold the map or point out landmarks. This will help them feel engaged and less stressed about getting lost. Is there a way to ask for directions in a fun and interactive way, especially when traveling with children? You can turn it into a treasure hunt. Look for specific landmarks or street names on your map and make it a game to find them together. What if I have dietary restrictions? How can I find restaurants that cater to my needs while asking for directions? Many map apps and online resources allow you to search for restaurants by cuisine type or dietary restrictions. Mention your needs when asking for directions, and someone might be able to point you towards a suitable restaurant along the way. I'm traveling on a tight budget. Is there a way to ask for directions that considers affordable transportation options? Absolutely. Ask about public transportation options like buses or trains. You can also inquire about walking or cycling routes if the distance is manageable. I'm interested in seeing historical sites. How can I ask for directions that factor in historical significance? Mention your interest in history when asking for directions. Locals might recommend scenic routes that pass by historical landmarks or suggest alternative destinations with historical significance. I'm short on time and need to get to my destination quickly. How can I ask for the fastest route? Specify that you're looking for the quickest way to get somewhere. Be aware that the fastest route might not always be the most scenic or pedestrian-friendly. I'm worried about language barriers. Are there any visual aids I can use to help me ask for directions? Carry a phrasebook with common travel phrases translated into the local language. Pointing to pictures or writing down your destination on a piece of paper can also be helpful. Is it okay to ask for directions to a local hidden gem or off the beaten path location? Sure. Locals might be happy to recommend their favorite spots that aren't crowded with tourists. Just be respectful of their privacy if it's a private location. 
how can I thank someone for giving me directions in a way that goes beyond just saying thank you? If you're at a restaurant or cafe, you could offer to buy them a coffee or drink as a token of your appreciation. A small gift from your home country can also be a nice gesture. The whole experience of asking for directions feels overwhelming. Any advice for staying calm? Take a deep breath and remember that most people are happy to help. A smile and a polite request can go a long way. Don't be afraid to ask for clarification if you don't understand something. After all, part of the adventure of travel is the unexpected. What if I'm traveling with someone who doesn't speak the local language at all? Can I still ask for directions? Absolutely. Body language and visuals can be powerful tools. Pointing to your destination on a map, using a phrasebook with pictures, or even miming your question can help get the message across. Many locals will appreciate the effort and be happy to assist you despite the language barrier. Is there a specific time of day that's best for asking for directions? Not necessarily. However, during peak hours, people might be in a rush and less likely to stop and give detailed directions. If you have the flexibility, consider asking for directions during quieter times like mornings or evenings. What if I ask someone for directions and they seem hesitant or unsure themselves? Thank them for their time and try asking someone else. There's no point in getting flustered if they can't help. Perhaps a shop employee or someone working at a tourist information booth might have a clearer understanding of the area. Is it okay to offer someone a reward for helping me with directions? In most cases, a simple thank you is enough. However, if someone goes above and beyond to help you, a small tip or buying them a coffee wouldn't hurt. Ultimately, use your best judgment and be respectful of their culture. I'm worried about getting scammed. How can I stay safe when asking for directions? Trust your gut instinct. If someone seems suspicious or gives you an uneasy feeling, politely walk away and try asking someone else. It's always best to be cautious, especially in unfamiliar areas. What if the person giving me directions seems to be leading me astray? This is a rare occurrence, but it's always good to be aware. If you have a map or GPS, Keep an eye on your location and make sure the route they're suggesting aligns with your destination. If something feels off, politely excuse yourself and find someone else for directions. I'm traveling solo and might feel intimidated asking strangers for directions. Any tips? Start with smaller requests. Ask for directions to a nearby landmark or cafe to build your confidence. Remember, most people are friendly and willing to help a traveler in need. A smile and a polite approach can go a long way. Is there an app that can translate conversations in real time in case I get stuck? Yes. There are several translation apps available that can translate spoken conversations in real time. This can be a helpful tool to overcome language barriers when asking for directions. Should I tip the person giving me directions if I'm using a translation app to communicate? Generally, tipping isn't necessary for simply asking for directions. However, if the conversation is lengthy or the person goes out of their way to help you, a small tip might be a nice gesture of appreciation. The whole experience of navigating in a new place feels stressful. Any advice for staying relaxed? Take a deep breath and remember that getting lost can be part of the adventure. 
Embrace the experience of exploring a new city and don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it. The locals will appreciate your effort to communicate and be more likely to assist you with a smile. What if I'm feeling overwhelmed by all the information on a map? How can I ask for directions that are clear and concise? Focus on the key details. Tell the person you're asking for directions the street name or area of your destination, rather than trying to decipher the entire route from the map yourself. They can then provide you with the most straightforward way to get there from your current location. Is it better to ask for directions one step at a time, or can I ask for the entire route up front? It depends on your preference and the complexity of the route. For shorter distances or familiar areas, asking for the entire route might be sufficient. For longer or more intricate journeys, a step-by-step -step approach might be easier to follow. What if I'm directionally challenged? Are there any tricks to help me remember directions? Visual learners can take a quick photo of the route on their phone as a reference. Repeating the directions back to the person who gave them to you can also help solidify them in your mind. I tend to get turned around easily. How can I ask for landmarks to help me navigate? Specifically ask for prominent landmarks along the way. This will give you reference points to orient yourself and ensure you're on the right track. What if the directions involve public transportation? How can I ask for specific details about buses or trains? Inquire about the bus route number or the train line you need to take. You can also ask about the frequency of the service and where to purchase tickets. Is it okay to ask for alternative routes, especially if the one suggested seems long or complicated? Absolutely. There might be a more scenic route or one that avoids heavy traffic. Explain your preference. Scenic, fast, pedestrian friendly, and see if they have alternative suggestions. What if I get to my destination and realize I'm lost on the way back? Can I ask for help again? Of course. Don't hesitate to ask for directions again. Explain that you're trying to get back to your starting point and see if they can guide you in the reverse direction. I'm traveling with a disability. How can I ask for directions that consider accessibility needs? Inquire about accessible routes with ramps or elevators, especially if you're using public transportation. You can also ask if there are accessible restrooms or designated seating areas at your destination. Is there a polite way to ask someone to rephrase their directions if you don't understand them? Absolutely. Say something like, excuse me, could you repeat that one more time? Or, I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that last part. Most people will be happy to clarify if you ask politely. What if the person giving me directions uses slang or colloquial terms I don't understand? Don't be afraid to ask for clarification. A simple excuse me, what does that mean? Can help avoid any confusion. I'm traveling with a pet. Should I mention this when asking for directions? It can be helpful. Knowing you have a pet allows the person giving directions to suggest routes suitable for walking your dog or finding pet-friendly restaurants or cafes along the way. What if I'm allergic to something and need to avoid certain areas? How can I ask for directions that consider this? Briefly explain your allergy and ask if there are any areas to avoid during your journey. For example, if you're allergic to pollen, you might inquire about parks or heavily forested areas. 
Is there a way to ask for directions that promotes cultural exchange? Sure. After receiving directions, ask a follow up question about a landmark or interesting spot you saw along the way. This shows your interest in the local culture and can spark a friendly conversation. What if I'm worried about safety in a certain area? Can I ask for advice when requesting directions? It's perfectly reasonable. You can inquire about well lit streets or areas best avoided at night. Most locals will be happy to share safety tips for navigating their city. I'm traveling during a holiday or festival. Should I consider this when asking for directions? Absolutely. Events can cause road closures or detours. Ask if there are any special events happening that might affect your route. What if I get lost and my phone battery is dead? Is there still hope? Don't panic. Look for shops, cafes, or hotels. Someone might be able to offer you a charging cable or even hand draw a simple map to help you get back on track. I'm worried about getting pickpocketed in crowded areas. How can I ask for directions discreetly? If possible, try to ask for directions before entering a crowded area. You can also approach a shop employee or security guard for a more discreet inquiry. What if I'm feeling grateful for someone's help and want to express my appreciation beyond just saying thank you? A small token of appreciation can go a long way. Offer to buy them a coffee or write them a thank you note mentioning how much their help meant to you. Is there an app specifically designed for tipping people who help you with directions? While not super common, there might be some location-specific apps that allow for small digital tips. Generally, a genuine thank you is sufficient, but if an app is available and you feel inclined, you can use it. The whole experience of asking for directions feels daunting. Any final words of advice? Remember, most people are kind and willing to help a traveler in need. A smile, a polite approach, and a thank you can go a long way. Embrace the adventure of exploring a new place, and don't be afraid to ask for help if you get lost. Getting turned around can sometimes lead to unexpected discoveries and become part of your travel story. I'm traveling with a large group. How can we ask for directions efficiently? Designate one person to ask for directions on behalf of the group. This will avoid confusion and ensure everyone gets the same information. What if someone gives us directions based on landmarks that are no longer there? How can we handle outdated information? Thank them for their help and politely explain that you might need more recent information. Ask if they can suggest alternative landmarks or reference points. Is there a way to ask for directions that considers everyone's walking pace in the group? Mention if you have anyone in the group who walks slower or has mobility limitations. This will help the person giving directions suggest a route that accommodates everyone's needs. We're on a road trip with a rented car. What are some specific things to ask for when requesting directions? Inquire about parking options at your destination, especially if you're visiting a busy city center. You can also ask about potential road closures or detours that might affect your driving route. Is it okay to ask for directions to a specific building within a large complex, like a university or hospital? Absolutely. Once you arrive at the complex, look for signs or ask security guards or information booths for specific directions to the building you're looking for. 
What if we get lost in a rural area with limited internet access? How can we find our way back? If you have a physical map, try to retrace your steps using landmarks or road signs. Look for local businesses or gas stations where you can ask for directions in person. We're on a bike trip and following bike paths. How can we ask for directions specific to cyclists? Many map apps have cycling route options. You can also ask locals about bike-friendly paths or inquire at bike shops for recommendations. Is there a respectful way to ask for directions if we're approaching someone who seems busy? Start by politely getting their attention and apologize for interrupting. A simple excuse me, do you have a minute? Followed by your question shows courtesy and respect for their time. What if the person giving direction seems annoyed or impatient? How should we respond? Thank them for their time regardless and politely excuse yourselves. Try asking someone else for directions or consult your map or navigation app. The whole experience of asking for directions feels like a learning opportunity. Are there any ways to make it more educational? Absolutely. When asking for directions, try using the local language, even a few basic phrases. This can be a fun way to practice and learn new vocabulary. You can also ask follow-up questions about the history or significance of landmarks along the way. We're traveling on a budget and want to avoid expensive taxis. Is there a way to ask for directions that consider affordable transportation options? Sure. Specifically mention your preference for budget-friendly options. Ask about public transportation routes, walking distances, or even the possibility of renting bicycles to get around. Many locals might be happy to suggest cost-effective ways to navigate their city. Our trip itinerary is packed with activities, and we're worried about wasting time getting lost. Any tips for efficient navigation? Plan ahead. Research your destinations beforehand and map out your route for the day. Download offline maps and consider investing in a portable phone charger to avoid getting stranded without directions. Remember, even getting slightly lost can lead to unexpected discoveries, so allow some flexibility in your schedule to embrace the unexpected. Thank you for watching this English lesson. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to leave a comment below. To continue your English learning journey, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. You can also like and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you again for watching.